Hello and welcome to another Vector Tuts Quick Tip screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham and today I'm going to show you how to make the type that you often see on sporting t-shirts and the like. So first take the type tool and type something. And the great thing about this tip is that the type can remain live and editable. I have center aligned the type and now with the type still selected, go up to the effect menu and choose warp arc. When you click the preview button, you'll see that the type arcs in a 40% bend. I've chosen horizontal because vertical would give us this effect and that's not what we're going for. You can change the amount of the bend, make it more or less, or you can even bend it the other way so it's bending underneath. I'll put this back at 50. The distortion field <laughs> uh, lets you change the horizontal effect. See, it's a little more bendy at that end. Or vertically, it'll look like it's sort of, I don't know, arced above you like a parachute, or in a negative value gives us this effect. I'll put these back at zero and click OK. Now the effect is displayed in the appearance panel, and you can click on its name to edit it. So if I decide that I want less of a bend, I can make that adjustment from here. You can also go back and edit the style of the warp. I've got arc right now. I can choose an arc lower or an arc upper or any of the other variations in the drop down menu. Since this is a live effect, the type remains fully editable. So I can take the type tool and change the text if I want to, and the warp is maintained. And of course, you can change the color of the text as well. Now, to get something like this that sort of bends in both directions isn't really possible with the warp options. The closest we can get is the squeeze, which isn't quite the same thing. So I'm going to drag this effect to the trash so it gets back to regular type, and I'll get that out of the way. We're going to use what's called an envelope distort, and there's a few different ways you can make an envelope, one of which is using an object that is on top of the thing that you want to distort. So I'm going to draw a rectangle that's about the same size as my type. It can be any color because that will change. I'll go up to the Object menu and choose Envelope Distort Make with Top Object. Now what this does is, of course, you can't see the rectangle that I drew, but now I have an invisible envelope that has corner points, and they work just like regular vector anchor points. They have handles on them that can be moved. So I'm going to use the Direct Selection tool and just move that point down, and then I'll move its handle up. I'll do the same with the right side move the point down and bend the handle up and that's giving us the curve at the bottom. I'll do the same with the top. I can just move those handles down left and right and there's our type that bends in both directions. Again, the type is fully editable but what you want to do when you have an envelope distort is go back to the object menu and choose edit contents. If you didn't do that, you could only edit the envelope, the shape, and not the type. So when you edit the contents, you can change the type and the color, as we did before. To edit the shape again, go back and choose Edit Envelope, and then as you did before, tweak those handles with the Direct Selection tool. For maximum flexibility when using type, use the Warp Effects or the Envelope Distort. <laughs> 